Publishing. All right, we should be live now. Staying at his publishing. All right, my name is William Slays. I'm an ex-cop, entrepreneur. I, I started a podcast, Entrepreneur Today, on iTunes. I'm on Stitcher and Google Play. I'm a content creator, YouTuber. And what I do is I help you take what's in here as well as in here and get it out to the world at the same time, monetize it. So enough about me. Today's uh, broadcast or live stream here is about your choices of microphones for either live streaming or podcasting. Now, audio is very, very important. And as we go through this, I want you to keep one thing in mind. Don't let the lack of having any of these items stop you from spreading your message because ultimately your message is more, your message is more important than the equipment that you have. All right? So we're going to start with the first microphone. And I have to make sure that I don't do things like this. Smack my lips like I did in my last broadcast. But anyway, um, just to let you guys know, I'm broadcasting using Live or Solo, so I can't see the comments. What I probably should do is get another um, device and watch this. <laughs> so that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to grab my iPad and I'm going to watch this. <clears throat> With my little alias, um, what do you call it? My little alias, uh, da 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 da. Better yet, I'm just gonna get started with the broadcast. I don't wanna waste your time. All right, first choice. First thing you can use is the onboard, onboard microphone for whatever device you have, okay? Right now I'm using iPhone 6 Plus and I, I'm using the onboard mic. It's pretty decent. There was a lot of road work occurring towards the front of my house earlier, and you probably would have heard that, but not so much now. You might hear some cars going by. And um, <clears throat> But if that's all you have, go ahead and use it. Just try to make sure that you're in a relatively quiet place and there's not a lot of background noise, all right? The next step up from that would be something that comes with these devices usually, and that is these buds, these headphone combination earbuds. Now what I'm about to do is I'm going to plug this in. You're going to hear a little bumping or hiss or something because that usually happens. Sometimes applications actually crash once you plug these in. But it plugs into the um, headphone jack of this eye device, and it has to have those three rings in order for the uh, microphone slash headphone to work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put these on and I'm going to plug them into my iPhone. All right. Okay, there you go. Um, I should sound a little bit different. And the key to using something like this is I can get further away if I want to and talk. Um, I can even lower this. You know. <clears throat> that way you get a different perspective, but the source of the audio is still right next to to the microphone see so that's one choice you have I'm going to unplug this and put in another choice alright so these were the earbuds that usually come with your eye devices and I gosh I have this urge to smack I should have used chapstick before I started this broadcast what these are, are the uh, headphones that come with, well, they don't come with anything. You actually can pick these up at Walmart for less than $10 on the clearance rack. I think I picked these up for $5. They're Maxwell um, earphone slash head, no, earbud slash microphone. And it works similar to the ones that come with your um, iDevice or mobile device. So I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and let you see what it sounds like in comparison to the one I just had plugged in. So here we go. All right, I got it plugged in. It should sound pretty similar to the other ones I had. I can actually hear myself talk now. So what I would do is probably um, turn that down so I couldn't hear it so much because that kind of bothers me when I hear myself talking. But anyway, um, Less than 10 bucks, the mic is still close to the um, audio source, as you can see. 
and you can use these like a lapel mic, which is about what I'm about to show you, which is like what I'm about to show you next. All right, here we go. And I'm actually going to raise this back up. Oh. So I can scoop back into the light. <clears throat> so I'm going to unplug this. Now what I have here is a Rode Lavalier Mic Plus, yeah, Plus, and it's a really, really nice um, mic for video broadcasting and stuff like that. It clips onto your shirt. I'm going to clip it onto my shirt. And they say that the, uh, the package says that the cord is uh, coated with Kevlar. So it should last pretty long in comparison to those other two that I showed you. And it also plugs into the headphone jack. Remember, you have to have these three uh, rings around here for it to work, or you just got plain headphones. And let's see what it sounds like. And I just did my nose again. All right, there you go. That's what it sounds like using this. The audio source is close to the microphone. I'm going to tap the microphone so you guys can know that this is what I'm using. And it sounds pretty decent. It sounds a lot better than, um, you know, if you were just using the onboard mic. And it also is really close to the uh, audio source. One thing that you can do in mics like this is if you want to scoot further away, you can get an extension cord from places like, I think I got two extension cords from, uh, I think it was Walmart or Myers. They both sell them for a couple of bucks. You can get even further away if you want to. I am about currently, let's see. I'm about mm, about four, maybe four and a half feet away from my iPhone. But the audio doesn't change. It stays the same, and this is a decent solution. These um, microphones, I think, cost about 70 bucks. You can find them on Amazon. So check that out. I'm going to go ahead and unplug this and show you another microphone. This little doozy is the iRig Mic Cast. It's somewhat old, but it does pretty good. What it does is it gets rid of a lot of the ambient noise, and it gives you um, about a half to a step of a a step up of quality compared to the uh, onboard microphone. It has two settings, high and low, and low is probably for when you're talking in a quieter voice and you're closer to your um, device and high is probably when you need to talk louder and you're further away but the thing you need to remember is with low you're going to get less ambient noise and with high you're going to get more ambient noise so I'm going to plug this in on the high setting I'm sorry on the low setting first I'm going to be quiet pause for a couple of seconds and let you hear the ambient noise All right, that's the ambient noise. A car had just went by. I don't know if you guys heard that or not. This is slightly um, not as loud as having a lavalier mic or earbuds on me. What I'm going to do is I'm going to scoot in kind of close. Testing, testing, one, two, three, testing, one, two, three, and I'm going to come back out here. So as you can see, it changes a little bit, but this is still better than the onboard mic. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch it to high. Now we're on high, and it... it Okay, let me pause so you can hear the ambient noise. Okay, a car I just went by. You might not notice that much of a difference, but it does pick up your voice a lot more. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to check real quick the comments. See if I got any comments. <clears throat> nope, I want to get this done. I'm not going to check comments yet. Next time, I promise, I'll have another device up so I can see your comments, and I'll, I'll address them after I am done. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug that iRig mic cast. Okay. And what I'm going to show you now is something called the iRig mic HD. Okay. It comes with a gain knob right here and a level indicator right there. So I got to plug that in. And how it plugs in is it uses a <clears throat> A lightning cord to plug into your mobile device. Oh gosh, my nose is itching. My allergies are acting up. It uses a lightning cord to plug into your device. 
So I'm going to plug this into the lightning port of my iDevice. First, I'm going to plug this into here. Can you guys see that? All right. I'm going to put this little doohickey adapter or whatever it is, cord keeper on here. Okay. I have this currently, my phone currently uh, plugged up to a um, rechargeable battery, so i got to plug that. Oh! Phone went boom. Hold on, guys. We're not done. We're still here. We better still be here. All right, we're still here. <laughs> that was scary. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to unplug this power cord, and I'm going to plug in this microphone. All right, usually I would hold it about right here. As you can see, here's the levels. I'm gonna tap it so you can see what happens with the levels. So green is pretty safe. You probably want it up into like the yellow, but orange and red, that's when your audio is being clipped. Uh, you can also use something like this as a windscreen or even put a regular pop filter um, in front of this. You know, if you had these both on a stand, I'm gonna put this on and let you see what it sounds like. So here I go with this thing on. It looks kind of weird. I don't necessarily like it, but it does the job. Um, I probably sound a lot muffled than what I would if I had it off. And I usually set it up to about half when it comes to the gain area. So this is Iric Mic HD. Uh, I do have a resource page on my website for you guys to go check this out. I think it's billslace.com forward slash resources. <laughs> I'll have that settled next time I come on. So that's Iric Mic to HD. This is a condenser mic. You will pick up noise if you're moving it around. So what I usually do is I just hold it about right here. Now, if you're going to do something like a podcast with this, what you want to do is, since it's a condenser mic and it picks up you know, a lot of room noise, you turn it down very, very low and almost eat the mic so that your audio only picks up your voice. I'm going to demonstrate that right now. So I have the gain turned almost down as low as it can possibly go. I'm going to let you see it. But I have the microphone right up to my mouth and there's a huge truck outside and you shouldn't be able to hear that. You should be able to hear me talk. Okay, so once again, you might want to use something like this or a pop filter. I have a pop filter over there. I'm going to lay this microphone down. I'm going to go, go over there and get it and show you what a pop filter looks like. And here's a pop filter. And what they usually do is they attach to the stand that you're going to use for your microphone stand. And they go between your voice and the microphone. So it reduces a lot of the plosives. And what plosives are are P's and certain consonants that uh, create a excessive amount of wind. And it kind of hurts the viewer's ears. <clears throat> All right. The Iron Mic HD. We're going to go to the next one. the iric mic studio and once again it has a gain knob and a uh, headphone level knob because you can monitor yourself using this i'm going to show you these real quick
And on the back, you have the headphone jack. And this too is a condenser mic, and I have it turned down pretty low right now so I can keep it close to my mouth. Um, it picks up a lot of ambient noise, more so than the iRig Mic HD, but this is used a lot for like certain studio uh, recordings and things like that. But depending on what you want to use it for, you you know, if you want to use it for podcasts and you want to keep it close to your mouth like this, have the uh, gain turned down as low as you can possibly get it almost. Let me see something. I'm going to yell real quick to see if I can make this turn red. A, B, C. So I have to yell really loud. Holy moly, my battery's going low. I have to yell really, really loud for this to uh, go into the red and clip. But it's Iric Mike Studio. And I think this is a little bit over 100 bucks. You can get them on Amazon or you can go to BillSlace.com forward slash resources. I promise next time I do a live stream, I'm going to have that down so you can see it okay i'm gonna go ahead and unplug this oh i gotta tighten up my camera whoa that's not good <laughs> that's the beauty of live streaming Straighten it up. Okay. <clears throat> so we went over several choices that you could use for your podcast or your live stream. My nose is itching. Now, what does it mean when your nose itches? I don't know. I must scratch. Oh! All right. <clears throat> this is an uh, Audio Technica ATR 2500. I got this probably about two years ago um, from Radio Shack when they were going out of business. And the thing about these two microphones is they don't pick up noise. This one doesn't pick up noise from here, only from this area. So you have to be aware of the pickup pattern of your microphone. And this one only picks up noise from this area. Does it pick up noise from there or from there? Oh, my nose is itching. Ugh. All right. So this also has a volume button for the earphone because you can monitor yourself. I like this, but I think it's an imitation. All right, they kind of try to imitate the mic that I'm going to show you later, a little bit later. But it's a pretty decent mic. It's USB, plugs into your computer, and <clears throat> once again, it's a condenser. Once again, it's a condenser microphone, so it will pick up some ambient noise, but it's still better, in my opinion, than ha using an onboard mic or even your computer mic. Audio Technica, Technica 2500. Sure SM58. This is an XLR mic, so it requires an XLR core to plug in whatever you're going to plug it into. <clears throat> and whatever you're going to plug it into could be a, an iPhone, because there's adapters that go from XLR to iPhone or XLR to lightning cord. Um, or you can plug it into a mixer, which I have over here, or even a, a digital recorder that accepts XLR uh, ports. That's if you're doing a podcast. For live streaming, you probably want to plug it, plug, blah, plug it directly into your iPhone or directly into you know the mixer. So that's Sure SM58. I think you can get these for as low as fifty-eight dollars on Amazon. But this is a favorite among um, some singers. I think I even saw a video with Prince using this, and it's very very sturdy. A lot of times you see people using it with this uh, little adapter so they can make it. Uh, wireless and walk around the stage now the thing about this is it's a dynamic microphone so it doesn't require a power source however sometimes you might want to use something to boost the gain on it but that's not needed it's not necessary another thing is it has uh, what they call a cardioid polar pattern that picks up the voice in like a bubble and anything within that bubble will be picked up anything out of it will be minimized so this is really good if you're in a situation like I am right now where you can't control the ambient noise as much as maybe you would like to or you can't put up any type of sound treatment probably want to go with a uh, if you can't afford it a uh, dynamic mic and this is really great there's another one called it's the Audio Technica 2100 it's a combination uh, XLR slash USB microphone 
and that's also a good one that a lot of podcasters use. I think Amy Schmidtower of uh, Savvy Sexy Social on YouTube uses the Audio Technica 2500. And the last microphone that I want to show you is my favorite. It's what I use for podcasting. It's the How PR40. And as you can see, it's a uh, XLR microphone, a dynamic microphone. And it doesn't pick up anything from here, you know, all around. It's just the top. This is an in-firing microphone. And the best place to keep it is about four inches from your mouth. So I usually make a fist and put it you know, kind of close to my mouth, about four inches away, and talking it like that. And it only picks up, you know, a certain area, so it's going to cancel out all the ambient noise. So that's a How PR40. This is a dynamic microphone, so it does require the same treatments as a Shure SM58, an XLR cord. All right, folks, 21 minutes. Holy moly, that is it for today's broadcast. I'm going to get off here. I'm going to look at all the comments. I appreciate you watching. And if you want help with your live stream or your podcast, simply call me. 419-979-3935. Screenshot that. Give me a call. If I'm unable to answer, it's usually because I am live streaming with my phone. But I will get back to you. All right, folks. Have a great day. Thanks for watching. Be safe.